brand new for 2016, you will see in your local foremost professional shop some new Black Cat Woods by Lynx. Uh, there's lots of adjustability and lots of playability in these woods. And I'm joined by Nick Doherty to talk about some of the performance characteristics that you will find from these woods. Uh, Nick, starting with the driver, what have you guys done with the driver to help people dial in their spin, dial in their uh, driver game to help them find as much distance and accuracy as possible? Well, there's so many different things and we're going to run through them all on this new Black Cat driver, but it's a two-piece driver as well as all the very best drivers in the game are. But the adjustability is the big feature here. So if we just look at something we haven't seen before in, in, in equipment, the option here of the uh, lightweight and heavyweight, and we can move this around. This moves the CG in the head. So where it's set up at the moment with the heavyweight at the front, the heavyweight closer to the face, this helps the faster swing speed, so usually the better golfers, um, lower spin on the drive. And it's something we see quite often. As your game improves, quite often the way you spin the golf ball will change, and you'll need to change the driver. Well, we actually have an option now to be able to do that in the same golf club, and you can move it around. And adding to that, of course, as well, you've got the options as with all the other Lynx drivers, but with this one, it, this actual driver goes from eight and a half degrees all the way through 12 and a half degrees. So four degrees of options with the driver, as well as being able to have fade bias and draw bias. So every single setup you could wish to have. And one thing that Nick picked up on when he was um, hitting a few shots with it, and it's the first time we've really had the chance to have a proper look at it. It's such a classic shape, isn't it? I know it's something that you love. It comes in blue and it comes in uh, a, sort of a, a sort of a matte black. Uh, but both of them look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they do. And there's going to be a red in there as well. And, and, and the thing is, I think aesthetics count for so much with the driver because it's the club that goes the furthest. So that's a great thing, but it's also a bad thing if the furthest means it's going further offline. So you need to be looking down at a golf club that makes you feel comfortable. Uh, and then you move into the uh, fairway woods and the fairway woods feature this, the same uh, technology that helps you dial in that, that spin, that launch, the movable weight in the sole that allows you to uh, essentially have the, the center of gravity further back or further forward depending on what you're looking for. And um, Nick, that's again something new in this market. The options as well in the three woods to be able to move it around with the loft as well and through this one here we're seeing from 13 all the way through to 16 17 degrees aloft is the maximum you can move this up to to be able to alter your three with that much dial in the distance is perfect 100 percent, and you know it means that as your game changes and everyone's game changes daily you can have an equipment that moves with you and one thing you will notice is as nick mentioned before it's a very uh, modern look but very classic shapes all the way through um, and then into the hybrid and again nick i've just seen you hit some some shots on the the sim behind us um it's a very simple classic look isn't it it doesn't have the same um movable weight in the bottom but just as a as a as a hybrid to pull out and get a load of performance from it there's an awful lot packed in here and for me you've still got a great sole here that works through the turf Br amazing at being able to create those high launch out of those bad lies in the rough as well um and it just means that you've got all that playability but it's so easy to hit so forgiving as well for off center hits and that's what we didn't used to have when we used to just carry long irons in the bag and we have that now and the options here with the three or the four as well and it just fits in really nicely into your set one thing we would all agree with is that there's no point in investing in all of this new technology unless you do it properly unless you do it right and the only way to do that is to go through a full and thorough custom fitting make sure that your driver is as consistent as possible make sure that your fairway woods fit in with that and your your hybrids fit in with your irons as well the only person that can really help you with that is your local foremost professional